yellow gamer on is back. And in this video, we're going to unlock and showcase the God Human fight style. Where the actor slam. Oh, there it is. Forward. There's your slam. There's the dump. Okay, so guys, we're done with the soul guitar, the CDK. So now, I think we are ready to unlock and showcase the God Human fight style. So before we showcase it, Gamer Nom, how did you unlock the God Human? Okay, so let's start with that. So first, the location of the NPC is in the Turtle Island, in the Third Sea, obviously. Guys, remember Captain Elephant? So from here, let's go straight. We are looking for a tree, guys. So the third tree from here. There you go. And the last one is there. And this is the tree that we are looking for. Okay, so just need to look for the entrance. And that's it. Guys, remember, the master is needed, right? I think you need 400 masteries on all V2 fight styles. Guys, correct me if I'm wrong. I think that's 400 because I already have 600 on all fight styles, so I cannot confirm that. And aside from the masteries, you also need items. The fishtail, the magma ore, the dragon scale, and the mystic droplets. So where can you find them? Okay, I'm gonna show it to you really fast. So first, for the dragon tails, we go head to the Hydra Island. And guys, just a tip, always get the quest. Okay, so the Dragon Tails can be farmed by defeating Dragon Crew Archers. Gamer Nom, why should I get the quest? Guys, that's money and experience too, right? There you go, you can still level up here while grinding for the needed items or materials. So as you can see, there you go guys, Dragon Scale. And you need 10. Next up, we're going to grind the Magma Ores and the Fish Tails. So they're located in the first sea, which means this is easy to grind because you can almost one-hit the mobs required for this item. Okay, so you can use door if you want to travel faster or you can use light. Okay, so it really depends to you. So for the fish tails, guys, you need to head to the underwater city and defeat fishmans. As you can see, there you go. Very easy fish tails. Again, any mob will do. Okay, so you need 20 fish tails. There you go. Let's check our items. Okay, so we have 10 dragon scales and 22 fish tails. Now we're heading to the magma village to get some magma ores. So again, any mob here will do. Oh guys, we got a fruit, a smoke fruit. So let's just throw it away later. <laughs> anyway guys, you can get uh, the magma ore from the military soldiers or even the military spies. Okay, so again, let's check it out. As proof, there you go, guys. So for our last item, again, I think how many magma ore do we need? 20. Okay, don't worry, that's easy. There you go, we have 23 so far. So next up, we will head to the second C for our final item. Again, the mystic drops. So gamer no, where can you find it? Guys, remember the final island in the second C? Yes, I'm talking about the Forgotten Island. Uh, shout out to Tom. Hello. There you go. Start defeating the sea soldiers. Guys, I suggest using Logia Fruit here. Because this mob's gonna hit you. There you go, guys. Mystic Droplets. Okay, so again, you need 10 of these. There you go. So after that, we are good to go. Again, with the Masteries and the items needed. Gamer Nom, is that it? No, guys, you also need fragments and money. Okay, so a gamer now, how many fragments and bellies do we need? Don't worry, we are going back now. Well, you're about to find out. Let's head back to the Turtle Island. Again, on the tree. There you go. Time to talk to the monk. Okay, so once you've gathered all the materials, he will ask for 5 million bellies and 5,000 fragments. Guys, I have a question. The monk says it has four special skills, but once I learned the fight style, it only has three. So guys, can you explain to me why is it like that? Okay, so now, here we go. You guys, check this out. Again, we only have three skills. Can you please help me? Comment in the comment section. But my friends have a theory. I will show it later. For the mastery, it took me, I think, 30 to 40 minutes to reach 350 masteries. Gamernome is that fast? I don't know. But guys, my technique is I fought Ryuma lots of times. I did server hop. 
Gamer Noir Yuma, there are lots of bosses in the game. So far, I think I think this is the best. So guys, it took me on my first try to defeat it. It's 20 seconds. Okay, more than 20 seconds is enough to defeat this boss. There you go. See that guys, 25 seconds. So I'm gonna compare it to the other bosses. Like for example, wait, I think we unlocked the first skill. Check that out guys, the mastery. <laughs> Okay, so we got 135 master. Yes, we've unlocked our first skill, but we will be showcasing it more later But I'm gonna show it to you now the soaring beast the Z skill That is the Z skill. Okay, so next up the beautiful pirate. I know you will be suggesting this one but guys this is fast forwarded because I Think it took me like more than one minute just to defeat this boss There you go. Okay, so guys, 1 minute 24 seconds, it is equivalent to almost 5 Ryumas. Okay, the time that you will save if you will just focus on Ryuma boss, right? Gamer okay, how about Captain Elephant? Okay, I'm gonna show it to you guys as proof. Okay, there you go guys, it took me 30 plus seconds. There you go, oh 40 seconds, sorry guys, 40 seconds. So for our clear winner guys, the most efficient and the fastest way is Ryuma. Again. We'll do it again. Oh, by the way, I have two times mastery. So guys, for those who don't have it, you will be killing Ryuma more times. So I think it took me... Hmm, let's check it out. One, that's two, the three. Okay, the four. Five. <laughs> six. Seven Ryumas. Guys, can you guess? This is the eighth one. The ninth, the tenth, almost there, guys. Eleventh, twelve, thirteen, <laughs> fourteen, and guys, you already have three hundred forty-seven. So I decided to defeat Captain Elephant. To reach three hundred fifty-one mastery. So now we have all the skills. By the way, guys, the damage is different when you hold the skill or tap it. So for example, I tap. The Z skill, 3,900 is the damage. Now, I'm gonna hold it. Boom. I see that effect. It's 4-1 now. For the X skill, it's also different. If you tap it, long range. Boom. There you go. And if you hold it, circular, AOE. There you go. 4-2. And for the last skill, the 6 realm gun. There you go. 3-9. And if you hold it, there you go, the damage is 4-7. So guys, my friend told me that the fourth skill is the long range, the tap on this X skill. So guys, if you agree with that, comment it in the comment section. Or if you know a hidden fourth skill, comment it in the comment section. So guys, I think that's it for this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. Again, to all the viewers, subscribers, supporters, I really appreciate you all. This is GamerNom, and GamerNom out!